Hey, what's up, YouTube? Matt from the Gold Bros. Coming to you guys with another unboxing today. Today's unboxing is sent in from my boy, 405 Baseball, my man Dutch. Really excited to do this unboxing. I've been wanting this glove forever. So, first of all, you know, a little spoiler alert, there is no cookies in this box. Sad to say, but it is true. So, let's jump right into it. Let's start with a little note from Dutch. It says, Matt Hart, no cookies. Sorry. See? He knew I was thinking about the cookies. Matt, hope you enjoy the glove. I threw in some other stuff for you. So here is st other stuffs for you. College education at its best, people. So here's a list of things uh, that I got, and I'm going to be going through all of these uh, one at a time. So let's dive right into it. Uh, let's start with the least important thing, which is the glove. Um, not really important at all. It's just um, an OG DP-15. You know, just your average run-of-the-mill glove. So... Obviously, guys, this is the main attraction, the OG DP-15. I freaking love this glove so much. Um, it's in pretty U-shape, but I have an idea on how I'm going to bring that uh, color back to the glove. Um, I have some stuff, you know, a little trick up my sleeve, and I'm really excited to give it a try on this glove. I'm never going to be using this. This is going to be a shelf queen, and I'm so excited. This will sit up with the Zim as the two gloves that I've chased since I got into the community, and now I have both. So let's get right into it. Um... So here's another thing, it's a Kansas Wesleyan University um, fanny pack. Um, of course it's insulated, which is really awesome, so I can keep my cold ones right on my hip. So this is really exciting. I'm definitely going to make a video where I'm cracking cold ones with this, so I'm really, really excited about that. Probably going to wear it to my buddy's um, engagement party this weekend with uh, jorts. All right, next thing is a homemade glove stand, which is awesome because... Now I have one of these, and I've been thinking about making one for a while, because I'll show you guys when I get to my new apartment. i already seen pictures and everything, and I'm going to have, like, a bunch of shelves where I could put my gloves. So I want to get, I want to, like, build a bunch of these, and then I'm going to put all my gloves up there. So um, first, like, let me guys, let me know, guys, if you want an apartment tour, like, when I get there. I feel like you guys will like that. So, got a glove stand. Um, this is an Adrian Beltre game-used helmet. Um, he told me that, though, it, it got shrunk. So it happens. I, I totally understand and I, I respect it. Um, it's a big collector's item. So on to the next thing. So Oklahoma City Dodgers um, beer koozie or a soda koozie if you're not 21. Pretty cool. I love koozies. Let's see what else is here. Um, a wat uh, he stole this from Whataburger. So this is a hot item. I can't like you know resell this or anything. But it's number 34, which is obviously my number. So this is really funny. Um, I'm going to return it to Whataburger when I get there. I just have them freak out that they'll have two number 34s that won't know how to react. Probably just have to shut the store down. <laughs> he gave me a bunch of these relacing tools because he says he throws them out. But it's funny because I'm just going to throw them out too. I have I have my, the Tanner's tool. So when you buy lace guys, it comes with these most of the time. So he probably has like a gazillion of them lying around. This is really cool. This is like my favorite item out of it. And this is the Pelican Glove Rub. I'm really excited to give this a try. I've been I've heard a lot of lot of really good things about Pelican products. Um, I've never tried it though, so I'm really excited to throw this on one of my gloves. There's still more stuff. Um, a Pelican Bat Wax sticker, all grip, no slip. This thing's pretty cool. Uh, I don't really have anything to put it on though, because I'm not like a really big sticker guy, and I I don't have my Mac anymore. I got rid of it because I never used it. And last but not least, this is actually really cool, all jokes aside. This is a, um, a Wilson A2000 keychain that he made. I think it's really cool. I think it looks pretty awesome. I'm going to um, probably be throwing that on my keys. I dropped it. And then he gave me some pesos. There's 200 pesos here, so I'm freaking loaded. Oh, there's 20 pesos. Oh, my God. I thought it was 200 pesos. I thought I was rolling in money. Oh, I'm fucked now. Like Thanks. One piece of <laughs> it's like nothing. It's not even a Mexican street corn. What? It's like one piece of mule shit. Damn it. Damn it, Dutch. I wanted to buy a Mexican street corn with that. So I hope you guys did enjoy this. I'm going to be doing a video on the OG DP15 uh, more in depth. No, he was Oklahoma. So we probably got some pesos like when we went to Mexico. They had a Whataburger in Oklahoma. I thought it was Texas exclusive. No, it's not a Texas exclusive. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this, though. Comment, like, subscribe. Drop some video ideas if you got them. If you like this more relaxed style video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. And until next time, have a good day.